Over the past couple of years, the president's opinions and policy ideas on immigration have been controversial and at times inflammatory. The president's clearly frustrated that his campaign promises have so far been blocked on immigration. But the White House says certain words ascribed to the president were not said. At the core of the Trump political message is immigration. We're going to get the wall, <laughs> and uh, we need it. As a candidate, and again this month, the president pushed for major changes to border security and migration law. We don't know who they are. We don't know where they come from. His frustration resonates with new reporting from the New York Times that back in June, an Oval Office meeting turned heated when the president reviewed a memo on the numbers of visas granted by the State Department. The New York Times described the president using provocative and disparaging language, cited by only two of several unnamed sources, who claimed the president said Haitians granted entry all have AIDS, and that thousands admitted from Nigeria would not want to return to huts. The White House fired back, naming top cabinet officials and senior staff actually in the meeting deny these outrageous claims and saying the Times chose to print the lies of anonymous sources anyway. But the president had a different target in mind. Well, it's a shame what's happened with the FBI. But the president seemed excited by a high-level move inside the bureau, tweeting Saturday, wow, FBI lawyer James Baker reassigned and zeroed in on Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe. Um, I strongly believe that the Russia investigation is adequately resourced. The president mocked McCabe's expected future plans, racing the clock to retire with full benefits, 90 days to go. And the Justice Department says James Baker was moved out of the general counsel's office of the FBI as part of a senior leadership change. Also says that McCabe has not announced his plans to retire, but associates expect that he will do so come March. And we've seen how the president and some of his allies have been attacking the FBI broadly and individually as a part of their mission, if you will, to undercut the bureau as it works on the Russia investigation. Willie. All right, Kelly O'Donnell getting us started down in Florida this morning. Merry Christmas to you, Kelly. Thanks so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.